I'm not spending one more cent on this uh, transaction until I get a decision from council to say yes, it's a go, or it's a song. And it's really up to council and, and the public what they want. If council and the public doesn't want 83 acres, then that's fine. I'm, I've got eight part eight, I've got eight lots there. I will reconfigure it and sell it as residential. Uh, and I feel I will do, will do quite well. Some of you sitting in front of me uh, wanted commercial property and demanded that we needed more job opportunities in this area. You have it on a plate right now, and I really don't understand why you would even hesitate not to accept previous council, which included leases to existing farmers, allotments for new farmers, community gardens, farmers markets, educational initiatives, including uh, the possibility of university agricultural programs, and that there would be soil improvement and restoration, and that the uh, district would have to hire an agrologist. Uh, and I'm, I'm still of that opinion. I, I hear the problem I have with it is that I don't know what the costs are to turn it into agricultural land, and I don't know who's going to pay for that. And everybody just thinks it's sitting there and you can just take a tractor and plow it up and away you go. That's not the way it is. There's a whole bunch of requirements by the ALR that we have to do in the next five years. This is going to be a shock to most people. I don't always disagree with getting consultants and paying them. Um, so, so the lead part of this, um, I, I don't mind that at all because what we're saying is we need the information. And I guess that's the information we require. So the interest of the community that I heard on the doorsteps was we need to be asked what we want to do with that property. And I'm asking here for the second time in two weeks for the majority of council to consider a compromise. My my sister when she was a little girl was given a slice of pie for her dessert. And she looked at it and she said, is that all I get? And my mom and dad told her that for her ingratitude, she was going to get nothing. And the slice of pie that she thought was small was removed from her and she had no dessert. I don't want us to be in that position. We've got a tremendous, the potential for a tremendous gift here. If you look at the reports, the Agricultural Land Commission is extremely auditory in their analysis of this of this potential deal. The CRD in its staff report and its committee report are unanimous in their support of it as well. This land is ALR. It's in, in perpetuity ALR because we know how difficult it is to get land out of the ALC through, you know, exchange deals through the ALC. And the fact that the ALC is willing to meet us on this and in fact the conditions that they came back with are less stringent than the ones we offered in the first place. This is, uh, as, as I think Mr. Randall said, this is a win, is a win, is a win. It's a win for them. It's a win for the Randalls. It's, it's a good deal for them, too, because they get something that they need. But in return, we get something that we could not get any other way. And in fact, we have the potential for losing that whole amenity because not only will we not get the commercial part of it and all the increased tax revenue and lease revenue and asset value that would enhance this municipality so much, but we also will lose that agricultural amenity because they are within their rights to divide it all up and sell it privately and so it becomes just homes with, you know, state homes. And, and you know, that's, that's I'm sure not what this generation or the next generation or the generation after that wants. We've got the potential here to enter into a memorandum of understanding with the ALC. We've got the potential to just work with our community over the next few years to develop that into exactly what some of the councillors are asking for. We need to have this discussion with our community to see what we are going to do with it. But there's no point having the discussion if we don't have the piece of land to talk about. <laughs>
think that we go back to them now and say, well, we were just funding about the 12 acres of, of commercial. We think maybe it could be 24 or 36 acres of commercial. How do you like that for a deal? I mean, we can't do that. We, we went to them in good faith. They dealt with our request in good faith. And I think the, certainly what I heard on the campaign trail over and over again was, this is a good deal for Sandwich, for North Sandwich. It's a really good deal for North Sandwich. Yes, there may be some wrinkles. Yes, there may be some costs. But look at the business plan. None of the costs come anywhere close to even making a small dent in the potential revenue, both from the taxes, the lease revenue, and, and the value of that asset. Not just in terms of money, not just in terms of money, but in terms of our future, the potential for us to have a, another opportunity to do increased food security on the, on the peninsula, for us to have that big set of lungs in the middle of our municipality, you know, generating good air, clean air. Uh, I, and the, you know, the drainage problems, I think, I mean, I'm not an engineer either, but surely it seems to me that they could be resolved reasonably simply without millions of dollars. I mean, it doesn't cost a whole lot of bigger receiving costs. All of these things we can work out. We need to enjoy, you know, with the community, with everybody in the community. I've been so impressed with what I've heard tonight. People coming forward with ideas and suggestions they have we have a tremendous repertoire of knowledge out there. I'm so impressed with what, what people have brought to the table tonight. I think I think this is, as I said at a community meeting earlier on, let's get this prize in our pocket and then figure out, you know, what we collectively want to do with it. But until we take this first step, we don't have anything. So let's let's take this memorandum of understanding with the ALC and get on with it. You know, I would like to further discussion um, of the letter and some more thinking about it and um, and get some more information about it. So the original motion before uh, Councillor Van Brown amended it was that we direct staff to prepare the MOU. That will give us a lot more information and we authorize up to the nine thousand dollars from the municipality to be spent on the phase two environmental assessment, which is part of the information which Councillors um, Marins and Brown and uh, Dale, I think, had asked for. And recommendation one and two, memorandum of understanding, and the next um, Yes. Those in favor? Those opposed? Excuse me, can we have order, please? Okay, the, the motion is lost. Yeah, no kidding.